Hey, what's up guys? Eric here with driverlineup.com, worlds of K steering wheel holder and world's shyest steering wheel holder. <laughs> she is going to talk though. She almost got a whole video made just now and then chickened out. Like but... two minutes in. Like I got two minutes. It wasn't even like a whole video. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna have her talk here in a second about her uh, first year at Prime. And I want you guys to see this spot that I just had to blindside into. And then look at what look at what's going on here. <coughs> like an inch. Look at it, that's like right in my dock. So that's gonna be fun backing into that whenever they come out here and say go. Because I'm kind of at an angle. Let me see if I can get down in there. Kind of at an angle, so I don't know if they're going to be able to get the doors open <coughs> or uh, get the dock locked onto the truck and everything. It's kind of a frustrating situation because we're well beyond our appointment time to get unloaded, and we have a pre plan that was supposed to be picked up last night. So while they dilly dally, uh, we every minute makes it more difficult for our O2 tomorrow morning. <clears throat> anyway, that's trucking. So yeah, as I said the other day, Jenna has surpassed her one. Is it? Are you actually past the one year, or is it like in a day or two? It's in a day. So she's at her one year with Prime, and I did a video on it the other day. She's done great no accidents nothing like that she went through a tnt with no critical events or no nothing no i waited until <clears throat> i got out of tnt to throw a critical yeah event. she did get a pretty gnarly critical event not really that gnarly it was a, I mean, it was a gnarly it's, curve it, i mean anytime you get a critical event it's gnarly but i'm not gonna let him try to best me and be like oh look at me i haven't done anything gnarly Hey, now I admitted whenever we talked about that critical <laughs> event that I've hit that curve in an ass. You guys know Beaumont, Texas, that curve. She just kind of got into it a little bit with that curve. <laughs> That's all. Right. But anyways, her, her whole TNT, uh, no issues. She trifected on her CDL test. Um, how many miles did you actually do in TNT? Yeah, so um, I was actually set to come back and upgrade in like, I think it was the beginning week of February and then COVID's happened. So I did uh, 35,000, or I'm sorry, it was, yeah, no, that's 35,000 extra. I did 85,000 miles in TNT because since I was staying on this truck, we would just ask our fleet manager or whoever was in like if they wanted us to come back and upgrade and since they had people who actually needed to upgrade because they weren't like staying on that you know on their trainer's truck they would be like no if you could just wait a little bit so we could put somebody else through so yeah i i did quite a few extra miles <laughs> yes yeah, eighty-five thousand miles on tnt is pretty pretty crazy this radio is in the way yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, on her, you know, it's just she was talking earlier about reflecting back um, and just remembering, <clears throat> you know, what it was like back then when she first drove the truck versus now. I'll never forget uh, when he drove Bobtail around the training pad and then we connected to a trailer and she did a couple circles around the training pad. And then I was like, all right, let's go get on 65. <laughs> or it was a 44, we went, got on 44, and then went around and took the loop around Springfield, 60 and 65, I think it is. Uh, I was like, all right, you know, let's go get on the interstate and circle Springfield. And she was like, really, right? You want me to do that right now? It's like, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever been more terrified in my life. The, the only other runner up to that is uh, when we actually hooked to a trailer that was uh, going to, like, not the training trailers, we hooked to like, you know, an empty and we're headed to uh, Russellville, Arkansas to go to that Tyson to pick up a load. And um, we went from, where was it? We went from there to 
Oh, Russellville to New Orleans. Yeah, to New Orleans. Um, and I made it from Prime to the um, Loves in Joplin. And it was absolutely terrifying. Like, the idea of taking the truck over 45 miles an hour <laughs> was, like, the scariest thing. I was, like, white-knuckling. And so I, I survived. I was able to get into a fuel island and then he's like all right your shift is done and I was just like oh my god I didn't kill us like the entire time I just you know thought like somehow that the truck will magically get out of control like it the concept that you're able to control this vehicle was so hard like to grasp for, for me because you know in a car like you know you're steering the car but for whatever reason I had it in my head like that the the end of the trailer might just wildly swing out for no reason or you know it's it's hard to get a grasp of the fact that the end of the trailer follows you when you're turning and so yeah I was I was terrified and yeah, that was our first load uh, Russellville to New Orleans Port of New Orleans. Port, we, we actually, that was the first time I had ever been to one of the ports um, in New Orleans. And and that port is insane. That I mean, it's Twic it's a, it's a city. You know, Twic re required. She didn't have her Twic card yet, so she just stayed in a sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> and no, they didn't ask any questions. It's not that it's illegal for her to go. We just would have had to pay the escort, you know, fee. escort fee. So she just stayed in the sleeper when we got It's not in. my problem. They didn't ask if I was there. Yeah. So, uh, but it was a great first training load for her because um, there was a lot of construction uh, along the way down there. And she was, you know, it was stressful. It was definitely stressful for her. But uh, it was, it's good. Like in hindsight, you know, if you're a new student, like, you don't want that to happen you know you, you concrete barriers on both yeah, sides it's, single I, lane i remember when i was first man i like went the first time i went through you know driving like two or three days in the first time i went through a construction zone zone with those concrete barriers i thought there was no way i was supposed to be driving through there you know it just seemed so thin and uh but in hindsight that's really good training because um it really forces you to maintain that lane and understand how close things can be to you at all times because when you got concrete barriers on each side it's that's way harder than having cars come because it, those don't they don't change you know it's just constant so she had a really diverse um, first run you know a lot of interstate a lot of highways a lot of construction um, and and then a punch in straight in the face of Pow City. You're gonna drive through New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's going really well, and <clears throat> it probably took you. Oh, I don't know. Probably twenty thousand miles before you were not nervous about just getting in the seat and starting your drive in TNT, right? Yeah. So when. When I first began TNT and everything like that, it didn't matter how many times I had like driven the truck before. Every single time I got into the driver's seat, I would get just this anxiety and be going through like how we're supposed to start the truck and what we're supposed to do. And um, I just remember I would just be sitting there and I would be like shaking like before I even started the key and Eric would be like, it's all right, you know, I'd, like just go ahead and start the truck. And you know, so I'd sit there and and he'd be like, are you good to go? You know, and I'd be mentally going through the checklist again. And, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I guess I'm good to go. And he's like, all right, push, you know, do the brakes. And just like that, it, every time it was like, push the brakes. You know, it's like when you're getting ready to go off, you know, like you're, you're racing, you're waiting for the gunshot to go off, you know? So there was just this apprehension every single time. And then one day it just wasn't there anymore. You know, and that, that I think is one of the things that's so weird to me is that you can have the, like so much anxiety about like, oh my God, you know, I got to drive the truck. And then one day, like you just get behind the wheel and you start the truck up and, and it's yeah, like I, you're getting used to it. I can definitely relate to that because now when I went through TNT, it was 30,000 miles, but I think 
right at about 22,000 miles, I would say, is when it just clicked for me. You know, like, I mean, we ran a hard team truck, my trainer and I, but uh, there were a lot of things I was still uncomfortable with uh, until right about 22 to 25,000 miles. At that point, it went from, you know, this still feels a little bit scary from time to time to uh, I'm totally competent and comfortable running the truck, you know. And it was the same for her. Like, just one day, it just it just didn't... I mean, now she drives it like she... Not like she drives a car, but now to her, driving the truck is just as second nature as driving a car, you know. Like, she, she'll finish a meal or something, just hop over here and go. There's no no hesitation there's no nervousness about I remember sometimes she would actually put her hand on the brakes but stop and then just check things again you know <laughs> when she was in the very beginning and then go push it you know there's always that hesitation because when you release the brakes you, it's go time you know so so anyway uh, so we're at 11 minutes I guess now hop into now and you already were familiar with prime you're familiar with the, the business model the paperwork but just looking back at the year what would be your review of prime well prime is a really supportive company um which i think that's really important um the in-house people are supportive and encouraging the other most of the other drivers <laughs> are supportive and encouraging sometimes on the Facebook groups there are some people who like to troll just because they're I don't know if it's like hazing the new guy or whatever but for the most part you know um, everybody at Prime's pretty encouraging and it, one of the things that I liked so much you know when I was new like that is for whatever reason like all Prime drivers can spot a green horn like a mile away so if I was like walking you know at a truck stop you would have some other driver run over and give some encouraging advice and stuff like that you know or if I was you know backing at a shipper or receiver you would have another driver come up and say hey that's a really you know you, you did a really good job um you know maybe you know this might help you a little bit in the future you know how how uh, long have you been in training and stuff like that so that was a little bit unexpected like I kind of just thought that you're out here on your own and everything and I realized really quickly that Prime is a family like and to me that's really really cool like it I don't know like maybe some people don't really like that I like that like we've made a lot of really really good friends like obviously like do it all and Johnson's Logic and Lyle and everything like that I'll never forget sitting down at the terminal being total dork nerd super fans with Lyle he's like wandering around trying to just go on with his day and we're like oh my god it's no hippie trucking and he was so nice and sat there and gave us his time you know the same with Junior Honduras where we were at a um shipper and I see Junior Honduras and I like just bail out of the side of the truck like a total dork and I'm like oh my god it's Junior Honduras and he was so cool about it but you know um all of that you know the whole family aspect that everybody gets along and I mean I like that the equipment feels safe that was another thing that I was really afraid of because you hear these horror stories of companies having bad equipment I mean I know we had our headlight issue but that's like a whole separate weird bizarre thing um, most of the equipment is very well tamed or well maintained I mean sometimes you run into issues like that's gonna happen but I don't know I feel like a prime is a very efficient operation where everything just kind of is doing what it should be doing at all times which is really cool it's not like a big you know cluster f <laughs> yeah so, and yeah. uh like i said the other day you know a lot of a lot of people say prime is a good starter company you're going to want to leave after a year well i'm i'm up against two years and she's now across one year and uh you know, yeah. we're, we're working on long-term plans with Prime, so it's a it's a great company. Yeah. The, after, the, after being here a year, my response to that whole starter company thing is thinking not so much. Like, I mean, there's different avenues you could go. Like, me personally, I think, wow, like, once I have, you know, quite a few miles under my belt and 
experience that I feel like I could share, like, I would be more interested in going forward with Prime and becoming, like, a trainer or something, because there's not a lot of female trainers. We have some really great female trainers, but female trainers are always in high demand, so for me, it's like, why would I want to go elsewhere when I could help other women like myself who are so terrified, you know, when they're coming into training and be encouraging and all that? Yeah, it's a, it's a great company, guys. I mean, you guys need to watch uh, Travis Kenley, it's Kenley, right? His video the other day about um, that whole family vibe, you know, you're, you're alone out here on the road and uh, you're not really alone. You know, all these YouTubers that you guys see, the prime YouTubers, we all are very becoming very close it's like it's really unique and and we're com becoming very close with a lot of drivers who are not on youtube i mean to the point of calling you know of hey what's what's that what's that road that goes up north you know or <laughs> or uh would you take this load or you know just there's all kinds of stuff being bounced back and forth and help being offered and it's 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 weird i've said this before for some reason I expected it I expected working for a trucking company to feel more like working for a trucking company and Prime has never felt like working for a trucking company I don't know I don't know how to explain that like it, it's weird I don't know I, I, I always jokingly describe the vibe around campus as if Prime was like the apple of trucking companies because yeah. you always hear like how you know like the the Apple headquarters has like this great vibe, you know, because they've got like their gyms and they've got their daycares and it's its own little city. Well, that's how Prime terminals are. Like they're, you know, people in Springfield jokingly call Prime, you know, um, its own little city. They're like, oh yeah, that's its own little city inside of Prime. Yeah, and, and that Apple thing is a great, it's a great example because Apple has a very unique, different culture, company culture versus like Microsoft, you know what I mean? Microsoft would have a, have a completely different vibe and culture in their company. And um, Apple, or not Apple, um, Prime has just always felt, it just, it doesn't feel like a trucking company. It feels like Prime, you know? It's, yeah. and, I, and I would say that's, that's really good job on Prime's part um, that we have that vibe, that I don't work for a trucking company, I work for Prime, you know? And that, that's that's been I think both of our experience so anyway I think she gives a two thumbs up we're at almost 18 minutes um, but yeah she hit her one year and to those of you coming to prime you know before you know it you'll be sitting here going holy crap I'm one year in already you know running loads and making good money so it's been life-changing for us we came to I know there's a lot of naysayers out there in the comments but we came to prime broke as shit I mean, like we had some things, you know, just go south on us. Um, and we're at a, a difficult point in our lives. Um, and Prime has given us the opportunity. I don't care what people say in the comments. I don't care all the haters. You can say all you want. Because of our work with Prime, we are in a, we're in a good, we're in a good place, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, you Still know. staying humble, but, yes. you know. Yeah, definitely I'll, we'll always stay humble, um, but we're in a good place, and that's because of the opportunities at Prime. So, all right, guys, thanks so much. As always, be safe. Drive to thrive. <laughs> I was going to test her and see. Be safe, make good decisions, oh, yeah. and as always, drive to thrive. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.